Hello everyone, my name is Prophet Janelle and I would like to welcome you to the Voice of the Prophet YouTube channel. If this is your first time joining with us, I want to say thank you. And also, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back again. And so on this channel, this is where I release the word that the Lord gives me concerning nation, world, peoples, um, his bride, church, different countries, whatever he tells me to release, this is where I release it. And so on today, I have a very heavy word that the Lord has given to me, a hard word, I would like to call it, um, concerning the United States of America. Um, this word is to the United States. And the Lord began to speak to me concerning the United States. He's been speaking to me for the United States for a long while now. And I am a citizen of the United States of America. And so the Lord, um, he had been speaking to me last year. If you follow my channel, you can go back and watch the videos that have been recorded previously concerning things that were happening on last year. And the Lord, really begin to show me um, his plan working the signs of the times his hand working in the midst of all of these different things we see God's hand working and he began to show me the part that he played as well the part the enemy played and so it, it really began to grieve me because a lot of times we can go and we can look at other nations and other peoples and the things that other people's doing but it's hard for us to really look at ourselves and judge ourselves rightly the Lord began to really show me the different things where he was not pleased with America and the things that America had turned to and done where he surely was not pleased and was grieving his heart. And you can go back and look um, on some of those videos, um, some things he was upset about and some things he was concerned about. You can go back and look on some of those. And we see where the Lord was calling America to repent. He was calling the world to repent. Um, but there are some specific words that he gave me for America, calling them to repent, calling us to repent and to turn. And so the Lord began to speak to me and begin to tell me he says he's about to turn America upside down and he's about to bring us to our knees and so this is a word that he told me that he's about to bring judgment judgment is coming to the United States of America and so you know as a prophet, I only can speak what he tells me to speak. And so, yes, I have to be um, a, a, a prophet of integrity and tell you exactly what he says. And it's not for us to be fearful. It's not for us to be afraid, especially if you um, are in the body of Christ, especially if you are, you know, um, a part of his, of his, of his, um, of his, of his church is not, it's definitely not for you to be afraid, but the Lord is speaking concerning some things that he said. And we know that he's a just God. We know that he's a fair God. We know that everything he's done that he does is right. And so he took me to the book of Ezekiel and he began to speak to me from Ezekiel chapter um, six. And so in this verse, in this chapter, the Lord began to tell Ezekiel prophesy to the mountains, speak to them, um, the mountains of Israel. And, and basically in this chapter, he was judging them. He was calling out the idols and the idolatrous works that they were doing. And he said he was going to bring judgment upon them because they had turned from serving the true and living God and had turned to forsake forsaking God and turning to their idols. So he said this, he said he would destroy their pagan shrines. He was going to destroy his their altars and their places of worship that they had built. Those were the three things that he said that they, he was going to destroy. In this chapter of Ezekiel chapter six, he said their pagan shrines, their altars that they built, um, and the places of worship that they built. And so we can also see where America has become a very idolatrous nation. You know, we have made idols out of people. We have made idols out of mindsets. We have made idols out of, you know, sports. We have made idols out of celebrities. We have made idols out of our food, our money, technology, all has become idols. We have made altars where we have sacrificed our time chasing after money, but we have sacrificed sacrificed our times chasing after prestige there has been so many things that we have we have replaced from um replaced our affection and our eyes on and that is a place of idolatry um you can matter of fact you can make anything an idol and so when you begin to worship it when you begin to replace it with god when you begin to replace that time that you would give to god with that thing that thing becomes an idol and so i want to break that down because there's nothing wrong with watching sports there's nothing wrong with 
having money. There's nothing wrong with those things. But when you have made that for your pursuit and America has made these things their pursuit, you know, we make sure, you know, we, we're willing to pay all this money to go um, and, to, and, to, and to go into these activities and things of that nature. And we make them to be the things that we have to have. And the Lord says, no, he's not pleased. He's not pleased. And so instead of being an example to other nations, which we have done and not saying that everything from the foundation of America being built had, was perfect. Surely it was not. But for uh, many centuries, we had been an example. We had been an example um, opening our borders and letting um, other people, refugees in. We had been an example of democracy. We had been in a, in, an example of equality, though everything was not done per perfect compared to other nations. We were an example. And the Lord said, we have turned in the wrong direction. So the, the, the Lord says this, the sovereign Lord is bringing righteous judgment. God who is sovereign in all that he does, you know, he makes no mistakes. He is bringing righteous judgment. What does that mean? That this judgment that he's bringing upon us is justified. It's justified in what he's going to do. And against an idolatrous nation, like I said before, we have become an idolatrous nation. Um, he is say, He said he's bringing judgment upon our idols, you know, and I listed the other things that we have made idols. And so the Lord is just truly not pleased with our actions. He wants to bring us to our knees and you know the lord when he comes and there's been many different nations that the lord spoke and it wasn't always the children of israel that got judged even though he's the one that the children of israel was his chosen people and he's the one where he made himself known to them in, in a way that he had not made himself known to other nations watch this and so because they knew him in a way that other nations didn't know him that's why they were they, they were judged so harshly but in the book of of Amos, you could even see where God judged multiple different nations who may not have been serving him as a true and living God, but he still judged him because he's a righteous judge. And so he was just so hurt because he's like, listen, Israel, I've shown you who I am. You know, I've shown you my favor. I've shown you, you know, you know, my, my favor upon you. And look, you have turned away from the place where I have called you up from the place where I have given you my favor. I've given you this prestige and you haven't used that, which I've given you in the right manner. And so the book of Ezekiel 6 verse 9, I want to just go ahead and read this verse. And it says this, then when they are exiled among the nations, they will remember me. And this is what the Lord wants. They will recognize how hurt I am by their unfaithful hearts and lustful eyes that long for their idols. Then at last they will hate themselves for all their detestable sins. They will know that I, I alone am the Lord. And I was serious when I said I would bring this calamity upon them. And so... Again, the Lord began to really show me before, if you can, you can go back and look about that, the Lord began to speak to me about tragedy that were going to come on, on America and it was going to be, you know, moments of silence where we were going to see tragedy after tragedy. And all of this, this is the point, all of this is not so that he could totally destroy. God is a God of love. He's a God of redemption. It was, it's never his, his heart to totally destroy. It's always his heart, even in judgment to show mercy, even in judgment. That's why he sends warning for us to be able to, turn in the right direction for us to be able to change our mind for us to be able to repent he sends these warnings and so but even in God's judgment it's always a redemptive piece to it it's always a place of God is saying look I don't want to utterly destroy you even with the children of Israel he always left a remnant he never wanted to utterly destroy them but all he always wanted to get their attention to say listen I need to bring you back I need to bring your focus back I need your attention to be on me I need your heart to be on me. I need your affection to be towards me. I need to be your God again. I'm a jealous God. I don't want all these other things taking your attention, the money, you know, the sports, the celebrity, the music, whatever it is we, we, we've made our ideologies, you know, our thoughts, what we say is, you know, the things that we believe, we put them above the word of God. There's so many different things, policies that we've made that have been above um, the word of God that didn't go um, as he had already called and said. And so this is what the Lord is saying. He says, we've been unfaithful. We have not looked to him. We have not, you know, gave him what he deserves. And that is that our affections are truly towards him. And he says, listen, I'm coming to judge 
this because of the many idols. And so people of God, um, if you're watching this and you're a believer, you're part of Christ's bride, um, I just want to encourage you to just continue to pray. If you're not from America, continue to pray for us. Listen, continue to pray for us. We need your prayers as well as any other nation needs. We need your prayers right now in this time and this hour. And if you're in a body of Christ, don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Continue to pray. First of all, God has you in the palm of his hand. He said the children of God should not be afraid in times of darkness. When we see these things happening, these are the signs of the times. The Bible says it's already been recorded. It's already been said that this is going to happen. You know, God is going to come visit the earth. And why? Because he wants them to know who he is. He wants to redeem his people. He wants the world to recognize him as God and to know him in true and right relationship with him. That's what his desire is. Not just so he can just come down and bring fire down, you know, and burn everybody up and everybody die. No, that's not what he wants. But he has to get our attention. He wants to get our attention and for our eyes to be towards him. So just do this. Continue to pray. Seek God even about this work. Seek God and see what he has to say concerning it, concerning it. And if you, you're not a believer, you're not a part of, you know, Christ's bride, you know, I invite you to come and to see and to learn and to give him a try for yourself. You know, these things that we've seen happen throughout the last year, these things, if you're in a body of Christ, should not surprise if you if you're not you know you can just go ahead and read the word the bible and you will see that these things have already been spoken centuries ago and so it's not a surprise to us and we must know that god never changes he's the same god yesterday today and forevermore and if he brought judgment then Though Christ has came and died, you know, he's going to still bring judgment now. Why? Because his purpose, in, even in the judgment, is still to redeem us back to him. That's always God's plan. That's always his purpose. When he said there's going to be a shaking, truly we have seen the shaking of God. Truly the shaking is still taking place. But the purpose behind it is to always redeem his people back to himself. So people of God, continue to pray. Continue to pray for America. May God bless America. May God have mercy on America. May God continue to pursue after America. But as for the word of the Lord, the Lord says this. He is going to bring judgment on righteous judgment on an idolatrous nation who has turned their backs from God and has sought after other idols. And I truly believe um, I truly believe that we're going to see some things happen in America that we have not seen happen um, in a very long time. And it's because we he wants us to do what? To fall back to our knees, to cry out unto him again. Revival will happen. Um, these things are going to come. The glory is going to come. But the Lord says this. He's about to turn it. He's about to turn it upside down. So people of God, be blessed. Have a great rest of your day. Continue to Pray, continue to have faith, continue to have hope. Don't be discouraged. Trust God in everything. He has you in the palm of your of his hand. Nothing can take you away from him. If you belong to him, you are in his bosom and he's going to keep you. If you've made it through this whole, you know, 2020 that's, that's come, you've come through so much. If you're watching this video, you know, just look and look, say, listen, I made it through. I made it through. And if God brought me through, though it may have been rough, if God God brought me through last year, even into this year. He can keep me through whatever else is going to happen. So people of God, be blessed. Continue to pray for us and have a great day.